If you have used Swift for a while, you might be already familiar with the enum pattern matching to identify which case in this switch will be executed. The color's value is red, meaning that color is red will be printed on the screen. You may also know that we can review multiple values at the same time using a tuple instead. In this example, we are creating a CYMK color from two RGB colors. The values we are passing to this function are red and blue, and this is matching with one of the cases, so we proceed returning magenta. Now let's refactor the example above, creating one single enum, but adding two different cases to create RGB and CYMK colors depending on the associated values. And let's say that we want to analyze these two colors from this CYMK case. If we want to get access to the red and blue values inside the switch, we need to create the case that will match the switch value above, binding each of the associated values using let or var keywords on each element in the pattern. Now we have access to both colors. We can simplify this binding process using let or var at the beginning of the case, and this will make the binding automatically, regardless the number of associated values. This is pretty convenient for most of the cases, however, please be aware of this. Let's create a variable color one outside of this switch. We want to use this value as a default color, and we want to compare it in this code. If you keep the code as it is, the color1 variable above will be overwritten by the binding created from the caselet. This means that Swift is creating a new color1 completely different from the one above, and color1 value is still red, meaning that the default case will not be executed. In order to fix this, let's go back to the previous approach adding let to each associated value individually. We won't add let keyword to color1, but only to color2. When we declare variables to bind associated values, Swift is expecting that the variables are declared correctly. If you don't add let or var to a variable in this context, Swift will look outside to match a corresponding variable. If it can't find it, it will show a compile error. In this example, color1 is actually the variable outside of the switch containing green color. Now the default case is executed. I understand this may be an edge case using pattern matching, but my goal with this video is to keep you aware of this potential issue. Be careful when you use case let. My tip for you will be avoiding case let and use let on each associated value to clearly introduce a binding when it's needed. The final word is to you. What do you think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you want to learn more about enums, check out this video where I explain all you need to know. And remember, my name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.